Hi there. Today I'm going to demonstrate to you how to configure an app using the Exonato platform. Here I have a general safety audit checklist which I want to convert into an app. Let's see how. Now I'll start with creating a new app in my Exonator account. Once the app is created, the next step I take is creating a new form so that I can automate my checklist into a mobile form. Now here you can see the Exonator form builder which has multiple basic as well as advanced widgets to be used for creating your form for different types of data collection. Since I want to, to create this checklist, I'll start with using a choice list widget in my form and name it with this first checkpoint in my checklist. In the properties for this field, I have the choices list, which I can set to whatever choices I want to be available for the user to select from. So I can say, okay, not okay, or just a simple yes, no, and any. Um, after that, I also want to add the comments or notes section. So I'll just take a text box here and mention add note. And again, in the properties for this field, we have different configurations available, such as uh, the types of uh, input that I want to allow, uh, whether it's a numeric or decimal or just an open text that I want to accept in this field, the various types of limitations or restrictions that I want to allow for the data being collected in this field. And I can mark it as required and there are um, multiple advanced configurations such as dynamic visibility and validity conditions uh, that which can be applied on every field as well uh, again unlike this paper spreadsheet i can also capture um, media uh, data such as photos and videos in my checklist if needed so i can just drop a photo widget here and I can allow the inspector or the auditor to capture multiple photos for any specific checkpoint or this entire checklist in my form. Once set, I can just copy the fields that I have already created, added in my form and keep on pasting them for as many number of fields that I want in my uh, checklist which which get copied along with all the configurations similar to the original field that i had done so for the rest of the checkpoints as well the configurations get copied now for these checkpoints i could just set up the labels or the prompts for each of the checkpoint as per my checklist and continue creating my checklist this way. At the end, I could just um, put a signature widget if needed so that I could take the inspector sign before they submit this audit from their mobile app, as well as I can capture a GPS location manually or automatically whenever this checklist is submitted. So the inspector does not need to um, specify which location they are performing this audit on. 
Similarly, uh, we also have multiple advanced widgets such as the audio video, ca video capture, the barcode QR code scans, then the counter, the dynamic formula calculation, and auto number generation, etc. So here I can also calculate the score for this audit based on the inputs, the values for each of the checkpoints that I have received from the user. So the overall safety score could be measured and then uh, used for further data analysis and decision making in the application. So this is it about the form builder. I just need to save the form and go on to the next step of my app configuration, which is the report, which is the reports uh, configuration. So now, now that I have my checklist set up in the application, I also want a PDF report to be generated every time this um, safety audit is performed by any of my inspector in the application. So for that report, I can just go to my reports tab and create a new report template so that I can design my PDF report in a way I want. Now in the report template, in the Exonator report builder, we have um, different designer tools such as the label, image, table, rich text editor, etc. as well as my form fields available uh, to, be, um, to be designed in this PDF report. So to design the PDF report, I can just uh, put my organization's logo at the top in the report. So I just upload an image and I can, I can resize it. I can set up different visual properties for it. Now I'll just split this section to add the date of the audit uh, performed on the right top of my PDF report. Next, I can set the heading for the report by using the label tool in my report designer. and I can configure its visual properties to make it as the heading for my report. So similarly, I can include all the information from the safety audit, which, is, which has happened from the mobile app in my PDF report. So every checkpoint could be added in a tabular format along with the notes which are added for it. And I can keep on adding as many rows in my table as I want. At the bottom, I can add the inspector sign. I can align it to write to just make it look good. At the end, I can even at the location widget which we had taken in the in our form so this way i can design my pdf report in the exact format that i want once set up i go to the workflow designer and create a new workflow which will allow me to configure this um, report generation and uh, email sending steps in this application. So this workflow should trigger every time the safety checklist is submitted. Uh, once the 
checklist is submitted once the safety audit is performed as i mentioned that i want the pdf report to be generated for each audit so i could use the generate document step in my workflow designer and specify which template i need to use for generating the pdf report once the report is generated i need it to be sent to my stakeholders over email so i can just specify the email id of the recipients in my email step i i configure it to attach a document to the email which is generated in this previous step i connect the steps and i specify the stop step to indicate the completion of my flow so this is how i configure a workflow in my application Once set with the forms and workflow, the next step is creating the graphical and tabular reports in my application for the data visualization and analytics purpose. So this is the Enlighten component, which is the report and dashboard builder of Exoenter. So here I can create a new report, either a graphical or a tabular report to provide the analytical insights of my app using different charts such as pie chart donut chart progress and bar graphs the line graphs or a simple card on my report let's start with a bar graph for analyzing the safety scores of all the sites in my business now as i need the data of score in my graph i'll simply drag the score field from my safety checklist form onto my graph in the report. And I need this score against my sites, which in this app are the buildings on which the safety audits are being performed. So that becomes the dimension of this graph. So again, I simply just drag the building name on my graph as the dimension. And there you go. There is, a, there is my insight on how my sites are performing in terms of safety audits. Now, as for styling this graph, I can adjust the fonts, colors, sizes of every element on my graph as I, as I want and make it look exactly the way I feel pleasant with. The next information that I want on my dashboard is the number of defects reported every day, which I'd like to be on a line graph. So I just select the line graph, drop it, and similar to the first one, I start with dropping the defects field on my graph and then the defects are required against the dates. So I put the date in my dimension for this graph. Again, I can make it look the way I want. So I'd set up the colors, the font sizes, the title for this graph that I want. Another graph could be about the actions being taken on these defects. So here, the actions that are being performed based on the safety audits uh, I want to check the status of each of those tasks in a pie chart. So I simply select the chart and uh, I drag the status 
of the actions on my chart and it gives me the ratio of all the actions in different statuses in the system. Again, I can configure the look and feel of this graph as I want. So for the complete tasks, I'll mark it as green. For the in progress tasks, let's say I make it orange and for the tasks which which the inspectors are not able to do should be highlighted as red so this is how you can configure a graphical report using the enlighten of exerter now on this entire report i could add up some filters so let's say i want all this data to be filterable by date i simply select the date from my safety audit which uh, allows me to specify what date range i want to select to visualize the date this data so let's say i want to see all the information for this month so i could just select the date and apply the filter and there all the data which is collected between the selected date range is displayed on this report. So this is how the filters could be applied and uh, set up in your graphical report. Now, as this is a graphical report, I'd also like all these insights to go on a dashboard so that the first thing that the admin users or the uh, people who are responsible for uh, viewing these insights get to see when they open this application. So for that, I can just cl right click on the chart and mark it as sent to dashboard. There I get two options, whether I want this chart to be included in any of the existing dashboards or I want to create a new dashboard. So I can just create a new one. Let's see. Admin dashboard. And I can just pin this graph to it. In addition to that, I'd also like to send both these other charts as well to my admin dashboard. And then we'll see how it looks on the dashboard. So similar to a graphical report, you can also visualize the data in a tabular format with different parameters and information included in it uh, the way you want. And again, I can start configuring my report the way I want with the information that I want on it. So I'll again start with my site's names against which, let's say, I want the scores of each of those. In addition to that, I can also add the detailed information of the general safety score, the machine safety score, and the electrical safety score which were the part of my safety audit checklist. At the end, I could just add the percent scores of each of my sites. And there I have my tabular report created. Now in, now in this report, I can just group this entire data along with my sites. So I'll just select the building name and I am able to visualize all my safety audits information grouped by different sites. In these groups, I could add the aggregate information such as the sum or average scores for these buildings 
and I can enable the subtotals and grand totals in my report. So here you can see the totals for each of the group as well as the overall aggregate information for the entire data in my application. Similar to the filters in the graphical report, you can add the filters over the tabular report as well. So I'd add the building name or the score as the filters. And uh, here again, I can filter out the data according to my sites or maybe um, just to check the list of sites where the safety score is maybe less than 95% or 90%. So those kind of filters could be applied on the data insights that I'm getting from the reports and dashboards. Now I'd also send this table to the dashboard that we recently created so that this tabular information is also visible on my dashboard. So this way we have our tabular report set up in the application. Once done, the final step that we come to for the configuration of this app is the dashboard configuration. So now going to the dashboard details, here you can see all the charts and tables which we had sent or pinned to our dashboard from our reports, tabular and graphical reports. In the dashboard builder, this is the default layout that I get, but I'd need to, I'd want to modify it to look the way I want. So I could simply drag and drop these graphs to adjust the layout of my dashboard in the way that, that I want. I can just drag and drop these graphs. I can resize those. And I'll save this dashboard. Once I'm done with my layout adjustment. So this is how you can create astonishingly beautiful and insightful reports and dashboards using the Exonator Enlighten Report Builder component. Now that I'm all set with configuring my app using the Exonator platform, I want to publish it to the users to be able to use it using the web as well as mobile apps. Now, before I publish it, I can also configure the users to whom I want to have access to this application. So I can simply go to the users tab and by default, as I am the creator of this app, only I have access to it unless I add or remove any of the users in this application. So to allow access to any other user, I can simply click on add user, enter their name and email ID. Specify what role I want them to have in this app, whether they'll be the admin or only the object collector so that they can use the uh, mobile apps to collect data using the forms that I have built. I can specify the role for that user and then I can either only add them or add and also send an invite to them simultaneously so that uh, they'll receive an email on their email ID, having the app details and some links to help them get started with Exonator. So I'll add and invite the user from my team and I can keep on adding as many users as I want. I can also delete some if I want to or re-invite them 
by selecting the user from this list. And I can update their roles and permissions from this list as well. Once set with the user access, now I go to publishing this app and I click on the publish button in my app, which gives me two options, whether I want to publish this app for testing purpose, or I want to publish it to make it live for all the users in my app. If I publish it for test purpose, I can keep on iterating um, the use and changes in the app as many times as I need since I get to uh, test it on my mobile devices when I publish it for test and keep on getting feedbacks or collecting uh, the changes required in this app from the users. And then I can keep on making changes in my forms and workflows as I need until I make it final to be to have this app ready for all my users to use in the live data collection. Once I'm ready, I can simply publish this version of the app to make it live. And during the publish process, Exenter compiles all the configurations that I have made in my application and makes it available on the web as well as mobile app. Once published, Exenter takes me to the web app, which I can access at web.exenter.com, where I can see all the dashboards and forms that I have configured in my app so that I can start using it. On the other hand, I can also start using the app on the mobile device. So here is my Android device on which I have the Exonator app installed from the Play Store. Similarly, on the iOS devices, the app can be installed from the App Store. Once I open this Exonator app, I need to log in using the same username password that I used for um, logging in to the web app of Exonator. So here, on the mobile device, I have logged in with the Mary user, which I had provided access to before publishing this app. Once I log into the mobile app, I see the safety app that was configured on the Exonator platform in my mobile device. And I just tap on it to get the view of all the actions which I can perform using it, such as filling out the general safety checklist or any other checklists that are configured in this app, or if there are any uh, tasks, drafts, alerts, notifications, or any scheduled tasks in my calendar, all those could be viewed on the mobile device after logging in to the app. Now I can click on the plus button next to my general safety checklist form, which I have configured using the Exonator form builder and it renders all the fields that, that I had added in the form, such as the choice list, date widget, then simple open text boxes, including the choices which I had added to the choice lists, such as yes, no, and the groups that I had made using the group headers, such as the general safety, machine safety, etc. So I can simply start filling the form on my mobile device for a choice list. I can select the choices available to me. I can enter or specify the date that I want in my checklist and I can update the checklist based on the values that I enter 
in various fields which are configured using the Accenture form builder. At the end of this form, I also have added the image widget and the signature widget. I tell you how you can use those using the mobile device as well. So for the image widget, the app provides two options. One is taking a picture from the camera of the device and the second is uploading it from the gallery which again also can be configured from the form builder whether you want to allow these options or not now when i click on take a picture option in my mobile app it opens the camera of the device to allow capturing the images on the field and I can simply capture the image and also open it again to add annotations on it if I need anywhere I want so I can just draw on the image and optionally I can enter some comment or a note along with that annotation to indicate what that um, to specify what that drawing indicates. I can keep on adding as many annotations on the same image to indicate different aspects of the image or of the field that I have captured in my image. I can keep on um, capturing as many images as I want. I can click on the camera icon again to open the device's camera and keep on capturing the images as many as I want. And I can also click on the upload picture option if I want to upload an image from the gallery of the mobile device, I can select the picture. And uh, now you can see the field has three images captured in it, along with multiple annotations in them. For capturing the signature on my in my form using the mobile app, I can simply tap on it and draw the signature in the blank area available for signing in the form. Here's another layout at the bottom of this form where I have configured this last field as a one line widget, which only occupies a single line in my form. Unlike the rest of the fields, which are occupying two, two lines, uh, which is the default layout of this form, which can also be configured from the form builder properties. So this way I can configure and fill in the form using the Accenture app. And once I'm done, I can simply click on save and submit this form when I'm ready to submit it. But oops, there are some validation errors in my form. So no, I cannot submit this form until I have collected entire data and added appropriate values in each of the fields in this form. So here it is indicating the field which requires a value and I haven't entered the right value in it. Now this validation can include um, standard as well as custom validations in it, such as marking the field as required is a standard validation, whereas adding the validity conditions in the form allow you to configure custom validations, such as at least two images are required in this, uh, in this image field can also be configured. Now here, this field is marked as required. So it is asking me for adding a value before 
submitting this form to the server. So I can just enter the value. under what action is to be done after this checklist is submitted and once done i can submit this checklist to the system once submitted if i did not have an internet connection available to this mobile device the record would have stayed in the outbox and once the device was uh, connected the app would have automatically synced the data to the server so once the data is submitted from the mobile app it is stored on the cloud and it shows up on the web app for the admin to view and analyze all the data submissions in the app so here under the general safety form in my safety app i can see all the submissions which have been done by various users and i can open any of the submission to view all the details which were entered by the user while filling the app from the mobile device i can also check the annotations which were made on the images and i can verify what notes were added to each of the annotation in that submission while analyzing all the data being submitted from the mobile device i can also get the insights in the form of dashboard that we have configured using the report and dashboard builder of the Xander platform. So in the dashboard, I get all the details of the submission, such as how many defects were identified during these safety audits and how many tasks were assigned, which buildings those inspections are being performed on, and even the list view of the data which has been submitted in the exact way that we have configured in the report and dashboard builder. I can also apply various filters on the data which I am viewing on the dashboard as well as in the list of my submissions. I can click on adding filter and then select the parameters which I want to use for applying the filters. When I, when I add the filters on my list, it allows me to select which values I want to see the data for. And once applied, the data gets filtered by the selected values. So this is how the app which I have configured using Exeter App Builder can be used for collecting data from the mobile devices and viewing and analyzing it on the web app for the admins. Thank you.